all right what's good what's good it's your boy lance here back with another vlog let me update you guys on some things right so one turn 24 you know what I'm saying? Oh, they got a little recently uh turned 24 on the 25th of january that's my birthday and uh yeah yeah so i'm a year older and i'm very blessed and thankful to hit 24 and i'm just you know hoping for many many more but most of all 24 was a, in my, like my birthday was great let me just say that i ain't really do much i just stayed i just went to the condo and just did some just relaxed with my girl and we just watched the walking dead and took pictures i'm gonna show you some of them right here yeah them things came out beautifully beautifully bro it's so nice like when you can use your film camera as a as a camera too like a regular photography camera too oh my god man so yeah that, that was really fun and i'm just glad that i have good people in my life and people that i i love and care about you know i'm so thankful for all of them and you know the thing i realized is that you don't need a lot to do that you know you just need a couple real ones and that should be enough to just keep you going so i'm just so thankful and happy for that second thing during that whole period of my birthday and everything like that i kind of just got inspired to make a short film um one thing that i used to do on this channel is you know make my own short films and you know just set up my iphone at the time and then just go ahead and make stuff whatever came to mind and i have not done that in a minute like i've not done that in a long time and i kind of just feel compelled to do that now especially with how recently i kind of just came up with a whole concept for what i'm trying to convey and everything like that just like just trying to share um some lessons and stuff that i'm learning in my life that i feel like i just want to share in a story short film type format so i'm gonna take the new camera and you know just give it for a spin and try making making this new short film thing and that's what we're gonna be doing today is planning this thing out um because yeah I, 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 you know i'm very excited about it i just want this thing to be you know taken seriously because i'm very excited about what this film is, what this short film is and just what what i'm trying to convey from it you know like i i kind of just realized you can just always use art as another way of just expressing feelings emotions or just you know just venting about things that you got going on in your life and that's what i kind of want to do so yeah it's, it's going to be great i'm actually going to make some reels of it which is cool and then with that i'm going to also make like the short film overall um but mainly i'm gonna just make the short film cut it up into the reel and then you know promote it that type of way i don't know but yeah it's gonna be something like that but so far the song that has inspired this whole thing actually is this song called please do not lean by uh bro i keep what am i how am i for how did i forget this dude's name by daniel caesar that was that's what it is by daniel caesar and bad bad not good oh my gosh that song is so good if y'all haven't heard it listen to it it's so good and basically it's the song is kind of like two parts there's like a beginning part that talks about not being reliable kind of like saying that i'm unstable please do not lean on me i'm unstable so kind of like that whole thing of feeling like you can't help anybody i guess i don't know that's what i took away from it i don't know if that's exactly what he was trying to convey but that's what i took away from it and i feel like we all have kind of have like periods of like periods like that in our lives where we kind of feel like we're unable to really do anything we're unstable we don't want nobody relying on us because we feel like we're gonna mess it up you know and we got our own problems going on too so it's kind of like how can we have people lean on us or come to us with things we, we don't even feel like we can handle the things that we got going on within ourselves it's like how can i help someone when i can't even help myself you know kind of like that type of thing you know i had thought about what like what periods i've been going through in my life recently and kind of feeling like wow i have had moments in my life where i felt frustrated where i felt lost where i couldn't come to solutions where it was so hard to find a solution or even i felt unreliable or i felt undisciplined like i feel like i just can't do the right thing and that's something that i just felt through the song and i feel like 
me kind of like conveying that in here with the song kind of like it's like a great way of like I think, hey, I'm gonna make it really cool visually because, you know, hey, that's just what I do. But still, like, I, I'm really excited about that. And then the second half of the song, probably my favorite, favorite part of the whole song, it's like a guitar comes in and it's like this beautiful, I can't even, you just gotta listen to the song to like know what I mean, but it just gives a feeling of like realization, um, relief you know, coming to belief in your abilities and kind of like just, you know, finding the solutions that you're capable, that like you're finding your capability of actually doing stuff that you didn't think you could before because you were feeling unreliable or whatever at that one, at that one point. I kind of want to do that because I kind of realized that me going to the condo, eventually living there is going to be my way of a new beginning. You know what I'm saying? A new place of relief a new place of finding myself a new place of being fully into my capabilities so that i can have more flexibility to create do amazing things and you know i can't explain it all i gotta say is listen to the song please do not lean and that second half is my favorite thing bro it's my favorite thing so literally right now i'm just going about you know planning this whole thing and seeing what I can make out of this. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that right now. And we're gonna get back to you. So, hey, I'm gonna just show some B-roll or something like that to, you know, show that time has passed and then we just go, go from there. So yeah, all right, let's get it. <music> So I came to a really nice stopping place with the planning so far. I was just planning out shots and stuff like that. I kind of plan on actually filming everything like next week. A really big lesson that I'm learning to do this year is to live in the present. And that is probably just the, just, just the main thing I'm trying to truly master. And I say that because, you know, a lot of the times we be stuck in the future, you know, wishing hoping that what we're doing now eventually will lead to where we want to be. But sometimes it's like, we 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 don't know if that's gonna be true. Cause you know, there's times people do everything right and things still don't work out. I mean, but at the same time, the least we can do is still try our best to achieve each day individually and focus on doing that on a daily basis. Like not look at the future, not look at all that other stuff. Yes, it's important to have an idea of like what you want for yourself and everything like that. But at the same time, sometimes it can get very overwhelming because say, let's say you have one day of messing up or, or something like that. And then it kind of makes you feel like you're just further away from where you want to be. And sometimes people get locked into the future and be so focused on like what? Oh, I just wish I was where I want to be right now. This is that, 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 and the third. You know, they get so locked into it that they start getting overwhelmed. They start feeling anxious and really just being hard on themselves because they're not where they want to be yet. You know, the most important thing to do for ourselves is like what? Focus on making each day sex successful. Cause the more we do that, that is eventually gonna add up into, you know, eventually leading us to where we want to be. Like, like there was this video I watched, I forgot where, what, what dude said exactly, but he said something along those lines. And that's just been something I've been trying to master my dang self, you know, like it's just been hard. Hey, we're going to get there eventually. Best believe. Since I'm taking a break right now, I'm going to go ahead and watch me some Peaky Blinders. Don't know if you guys know about that show, but it's called Peaky Blinders. It's really amazing. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I kind of want this film to be centered around the idea of living in the present, but also me kind of slowly taking my time with getting there because I don't want to just rush into it. That's not something that can happen. It's just something that happens on its own the more you try to work at it on a daily basis. So we gonna get there, but okay. I'm gonna go eat real quick. <laughs> Alright y'all, 
y'all. So we back in the room and about to get to finishing up some of the shots I have in mind for this um, mini short film. I'm going to call it a mini short film because it's shorter, but eh, technically it is a short film. It doesn't matter, but I'm just wrapping up on all the shots that I want to get. Like how they coming out kind of making me, kind of making me happy for real. Cause I kind of want to get more into a routine of actually like making stuff more often. Cause um during like the last 25% of last year, like I came to like a stop on like being super creative. I don't know what caused it, honestly. Cause I was creating all up till at until like one point, then something just happened. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I was like not being productive on posting on YouTube, not being productive on posting just in general or just creating. It was kind of hard because I would try to, but then just, it just wasn't working. Um, so I'm making this because I want it to kind of represent a transitionary period of my life. But at the same time, I just want to get into a routine of just creating more projects more often, whether they're big, small, a real IG reel or an I, you know, TikTok or something, or even just a small short film. Like I just want to get into a routine of creating more often. One, I'm putting more stuff out there. And then two, I'm just constantly challenging myself to try creating stories with the space that I have, the amount of equipment that I have, you know, everything like that. I'm actually very glad that I'm doing this um, because it's, it's like, I think this is like a really good habit to have. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a great habit to have that will eventually grow into something better. Like, cause I can already tell like, hey, if I get good at doing stuff like this, then th you know how amazing it'll be la later down later down the line, like, wow. So this is like a habit I definitely want to get into the routine of like making one creative reel a week and, you know, having time to plan and edit and then probably making one short film type project every month. I think that would be really cool. Now, at the same time of doing this, um, I'm going to be working on Payday, um, which is my short film. And I haven't started on it yet because me just wanting to start on it when I move into the condo, because um, I just kind of, I, I just really want to move into the condo, bro. And then just kind of be in a different environment whenever I'm working on that. Honestly, I'm gonna just try my best to kind of speed up the process of getting out of here and moving in there just so that I can be able to, you know, just get on it as soon as possible. I, I really want to use the whole month of February as a chance of, you know, putting that out and well, editing it. So then I can eventually put it out probably like March, maybe. Um, I just, I really want to take my time with it. But at the same time, I'm just doing these things for me and I'm just putting them out there for, for people, you know, to see just to share and stuff like that. But how I said earlier, how we have no control of our future, but in a way we can kind of can influence it in a way just by the habits that we practice each and every day, you know, so. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, I finished all the shots, at least for the first video. I'm going to probably film this actually very soon. Yeah. I'm trying this new little this new little planning thing. I don't know. It's different. Cause um usually I don't know. I'm just trying to I'm just trying different ways of planning stuff out. Like for this one, what I'm doing instead is like, okay, how do I wanna attempt this at first? You know what I'm saying? Just a, a brief overview. Nothing like where I'm like, okay, so we're gonna do this, this, that, 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 and the third. No. Literally, I just said I want this to be a two-part reel. The first one giving off this feeling. The second one giving off this feeling with these parts of the song. You know what I'm saying? That's it. And then with that, I put in locations. And then instead of me just jumping right into the other stuff, like the logistics, how are we going to do it, all that. Instead, I kind of use this as an opportunity to talk about why I want to use these locations. Like why I want to use my room. Why I want to use the game room. Why I want to use the neighborhood spot. Why I want to use the condo. You know, just to make sure I fully understand the use of these these locations. So then whenever I film, you know, just being easy, you know, I don't know. Or if anything, it makes me more intentional on the shots that I choose for these locations. You know what I'm saying? I actually really like that. Yeah. And then with that, since I'm planning the first part first, I'm going to plan probably the second one tomorrow, maybe. The first part, the please do not leave on me i'm unstable i know that's probably backwards since yeah since it's yeah but 
either way i put the feelings of frustration feeling lost unreliable undisciplined those are the things that i really really put on there because that's what i want to give that's what the feelings i want so say for instance for waking so like for these feelings of for, of like how i usually feel sometimes i always think about hmm what settings do i usually feel these things in so when I wake up late, that's when I feel one of these. Or whenever I'm being stuck on my work, that's when I feel one of these. Or whenever I'm being distracted on the phone, stuck on editing, that's when I feel one of these. So that's, these are the things I'm making sure I showcase so that you know these feelings come across uh, authentically. And these are things that I actually go through. And I'm like, okay, what would be good for showing waking up late? Okay, show the clock, show that I'm slow and groggy, you know, knocked out, all this other stuff, being stuck on my work. Oh, pen clicking, head in my hand, glasses off, like all that, being distracted on my phone. Like I break off things to make sure I highlight for, to make sure these are conveyed in the best way possible. And I really like that. And I made sure to uh, make my shot list in here as far as like what shots I need and everything like that. So yeah. And I gave in some other things that I need to make sure I include, like, oh, use the light for this um and most of all avoid making it look like the usual film stuff i shoot in my room if you follow me on instagram you know i shoot a lot of stuff in this room and i'm not gonna lie i kind of remember nowadays like they they kind of look similar in some ways not exactly but you know you can only shoot so much stuff in one spot you know and i feel like i kind of reuse things sometimes maybe i don't know but I just kind of wanted to film, make sure I note that I need to film this differently. Like, otherwise, this is, I don't want this to be seen like, oh, he's just doing another video in his room. Like, no, I want this to be like, oh, he telling a story. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do something different. Honestly, I don't know if I just want to limit this to, no, I feel like this is, nah, man. I don't know. I feel like this isn't too good to not be a short film. Like, like I feel like what I'm trying to give out is serious enough for it to be a short film but it has cool enough shots for it to be showcased through reels rather than me just making this a whole reel in itself i don't know i kind of want to just focus more on doing things differently in a sense so we got that part done the next part is to plan the second half of this of this video and i think we'll be good from there mission accomplished today guys mission accomplished and i vlogged let's go now, mind you, I'm gonna do better in the process of, you know, making, putting more in the vlog so I'm just not in the house the whole time, just talking to y'all and doing work and stuff. I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. If y'all saw my last video, I already told y'all, I, I be trying to do perfect stuff. This time, I'm not worrying about it. I'm just learning as I go. So this is a step in the right direction. That's all I gotta say. But okay, this is it. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all got some cool insight you know just a little a little jump into how i look how i look at things how i how i do things and everything like that hopefully it helped you in your creative journey in some way shape or form and yeah hey it's only up from here y'all and make sure y'all keep creating and believing yourself always y'all got this we got this we will make our dreams and goals come true you feel me we will all right but hey y'all y'all have a great one Take care of yourselves and your mental and everything and see y'all on the next vlog. Peace.